Good morning and welcome back to Dan's Pro Shop. Today on the table here, we're talking about motors, particularly three-phase motors. This one exactly is a 243 phase motor. Have you ever run across an instance where you need to wire this thing up and you're like, hey, what are all these wires about? We're gonna try to simplify that for you today. Let's take a look inside this pecker head here and see what's going on. All right, so first things first. I didn't make up that word pecker head. This is what this thing is actually called on the side of a motor where all of your electrical junction happens. Hey, I, I don't make up these terms. I just have to use them like everybody else. But hey, if you take a look here, any motor you get, this isn't just a ball door thing, has the wiring diagram for low voltage and high voltage on it. This is under a standard that we have come to know and love as NEMA, N-E-M-A. That stands for National Electrical Manufacturers Association. So this isn't just some random wiring scheme with random colors and random numbers. No, this is a standard in North America. This is how we wire motors. It regulates the size of the frame, where the bolt holes go underneath is a specific pattern. The height of the shaft from the ground to here, how far the shaft sticks out from the end of the motor, that is all determined by your NEMA and your frame size. That's super important and it's awesome once you get to know it. To further illustrate that fact, take a look at this. If you guys don't have one of these, get one. I'm telling you, this is like 10, 15 bucks. You can even pick it up on the aisle at Home Depot. This thing has saved me more times than I can possibly count. I know we all rely on our smartphones nowadays, but sometime you're gonna find yourself in the middle of a field or out in the middle of God's country knows where, and you're not gonna have any service and you're gonna to need to know something. Check this out. Does this diagram look familiar? Huh? Yeah, it's this exact same thing because it's a NEMA standard. It doesn't matter about this motor. This is just the way this gets wired. And when we do it, this is the gospel that we follow. All right, let's take a look at the nameplate here. This is super important and arguably the most important part of any motor. Now, you heard me reference the frame. This particular one is a number 56. So whenever you order a motor, the frame size is super important. That lets you know the physical size of this thing. So the mounting holes, the height of the shaft, everything. This lets you know without a doubt that if you order a 56 to replace a 56, it's gonna work. This particular one is a dual voltage three phase motor. So I can use it in 208, 230, that's my low voltage, or 460 three phase for high voltage. This is my horsepower rating, 0.75, and there's a formula to find that out too, but we'll get to that one later. So, back to the sticker for the wiring diagram. Our, for instance, we're gonna be wiring this into a 230 circuit. So, according to the nameplate, 230 three phase is the low voltage wiring on this motor. So, these numbers correlate to wires inside of the pecker head. So, if you follow this, these little dots, let's just call that a wire nut or a connection. So wire six, five, and four, I'm gonna pull them out of this box and wire nut them together. That's gonna to complete a circuit in the frame inside of this motor. Then wires number nine and number three, that is gonna be one of my supply lines in. So let's just call them line one, two, and three coming in from the wall to power this motor. So I take wire nine and number three, connect it to line number one. I take eight and two, connect it to line number two. I take seven and one and connect it to line number three. That will complete the wiring inside of here. I know this looks like a mess inside of here, but what we just went over on that wiring diagram, this is exactly what you're seeing here. Look, this is wire number one and number seven ready to receive one of the line in that we're gonna to use to power this motor. I know I've talked about this in the past, but the beauty about this system is that if this motor is spinning the wrong way when you hook it up, you can switch any two of these three lines in 
It doesn't matter which two, just pick any two. Just switch their location. Take it off of the one that it was on and change it to any different one. And then that will change how this frame is energized and it will spin the motor the other way. That's awesome about three phase motors. They don't really have a rotation. It's whatever you want it to be. So I hope that that straightens this out a little bit. I know I can get a little long winded in my explanations, but if you get nothing else out of this, this ugly's electrical guide, this is literally our Bible. In this industry, information is power. There is everything in here how to bend conduit, how to figure out those numbers. If you need to run so many conductors through a piece of pipe or a piece of conduit or a piece of liquid type, this will tell you how many of those conductors will fit through the size conduit that you want to run. So you can accurately make an estimate on the job before you start buying parts. This thing is so valuable. I cannot stress it enough. So if you're interested in at least one of these, an affordable little go-to thing to keep in your bag, check out the link. We'll see you on the next one.